already seen Sayin Gampa in action today. We saw him against Itaka Sugimara and he beat him 8-0. So he's coming into this final in great form. Yeah, very clinical. And the two opponents here won all their group stage matches back to back. Yeah, that's what you want to do this tournament. Stay strong from the start and get go. She Kuan Yang in good form coming into the tournament and really showing it through the championships. And like you said, Peter, they've won all their games in the pool, so they've not experienced losing. So no. the momentum must be really great for both these players on yeah, court today. And the wins as well were pretty pretty heavy in numbers. So how they'll cope with falling behind for a couple of points or so. We'll see how they manage that. And the heat from these lights and all the eyes and spectators around them. It's another added pressure. It'll just increase the the levels even more on these players and the pressure you said Peter and we talked actually on the opening day about the court and how it could change with the temperatures and the and the yeah. lights and it does. have you seen that so far in the championships? Yeah I think it has slowed down the balls later on the day because the, the moisture in the air as well because the some of these balls are genuine leather they absorb the the heat and moisture, a lot more, that affects them. Well, Shi Kran Yang won the bronze in 2016 Paralympics in Rio. Sang Gampa, he won the gold in 2016, so it's set to be a really fascinating matchup. And of course, Sang Gampa, the defending champion as well. Yeah. So this one corpse like the PC one final we saw. And it will be Sangampa who throws the jack first. No aid for both these players, of course, in the no, it's a PC2 different. final. Jack, please. See how to cope all alone. No one to help them but themselves. Well, here we go, the Let's get this BC2 final underway. Two cracking finals so far. And we can see Sang Gampa straight away going short. You've talked to me off air before that bef before the time limits, it used to see the players just meditating and seeing things through. We saw just a slight yeah, we there from saying Gamper before the the timer didn't go to actually throw the white ball, and you see if the some athletes just hold the ball, and meditate, calm for five six minutes, and you're sitting there going, "Let's get the game started." Come on. And it's close to the jack, but it's still an opportunity for yeah the angle's exposed. Yeah. If you can just hit this one ball. And get right on it again. That's it. That's what he wanted, and he's. But it looks here from red, maybe it's further away. Have to see overhead, really. We've seen a lot in these championships, actually, today. There, they've gone to try and break the jack away from the opposition's ball but in process wanting to try and keep the second shot and they've often thrown it away yeah blue to go that's what we wanted sigh of relief there <laughs> <laughs> Good opportunity then for Jan to make some inroads in the first end. That's good. It's pulled up well. Nice start from Jan, but still opportunities for Sarangampa. 
so now we've been right handed a little more difficult. A left hander here. It's very composed. And calm. Yep. Good shot. Good play from Sign Gamper. That's what he would have liked and he's pulled it off. And that's the opportunity to throw again as well, which is important. But it, quite right, Peter. He seems so calm, doesn't he? He's been in these positions before. And how important is the experience you build up in previous finals and Paralympics that you play? Yeah, it's well needed at these <laughs> levels. Um, you just go into aut automation. You just kind of ah! you know what to do. Split second. That's what you need. You start doubting yourself and go left, right, fault, you know, you can't cope with that at this level. And you see there uh, from Sian Gamper, that is a Perfect. really lovely shot. Perfect angle. You know, probably have one more shot open this up. Can't afford to use too many that soon. Oh, these whistled it past. That is one of the most powerful shots I've seen in the championships on show court. That really knocked someone off the chair for that. <laughs> well, you could hear the crash on the sideboardings and you can see why. Good crowd here on show court. Taking this one in. He's going for it again. Oh, oh dangerous decision. Dangerous. That's uh, an interesting shot there from Jan, who's played it into potentially the hands of Sian Gamper, but two balls remaining for Jan. You have to move to the back of the box now, get an angle in off that other red. Soft shot. Yeah, over the uh, arm technique this time around yeah. from Jan. Possession of the box, so something's caught. Oh. Well, that was two throws taken quickly from Jan, and now Sian Gamper knows that he will have a two point lead going into the second end unless he makes a mistake. Chance to add on to that as well. Another one in there, very easy. You don't want to be giving Sian Gamper any momentum. No. He's been there before, he can cope very well. Ah! Oh, superb, and you see the reaction from Sian Gamper. That is fantastic play. I like to see him try and go up on top now. It's an opportunity here between the red and the blue. As you perfectly described it. Around the championships, the profiteroles. Yeah, it's my profiteroles <laughs> with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> you only get chocolate if you win. <laughs> <laughs> it's an athlete's dessert, that one. And a reward for the winner. Yeah. Which Sian Gamper looks to be taking a good step forward to. One minute. One minute. Decisions. Going for the bounce. Not quite for Sian Gamper. You can go up there. You should take the chance. There's no way you can lose those three points to try and roll on top. The blue won't be pushed close on the, the loose red at the back. Is it three or four for Sian Gamper? Don't use mind here. No, oh, no, not, not quite. quite. But still a really good start for Sian Gamper. Yeah, very strong. 
fifty percent of his balls scored in there. Three red. Three red for Sangamba, and that's a really good start to these championships. And the perfect start. Wonder if Jan will change his tactics here, game plan. Number three for this one, Richard Evans. And just looking at the route to the final for both these players, saying Gampa really put in a great performance against Sugimura and Ji Kuan Yang in a really entertaining semi final against Robert Mejic. Yeah, that was one to watch. But the big shock in the quarter finals was definitely Vongsa crashing out to Mejic. An entertaining start for Sangamper in the final. We magic. Apologies, uh, Jan to take the jack. Very close to the line. Yeah, no room for error. No. On that side. He's too, too quick losing those first balls. So take his time, focus. Set himself. Don't know if it's uh, the pressure of this final here. Let's make him do that. Pressure of the final and them almost certain of the opponent he's facing as well in Sang Gampa who will will always be very clinical. Yeah. a lot of back spins this grip. Ah! Oh, that's good. That uh, is good. Still some sight for Jan though. Yeah, he's left home. If Jan gets it on between that red and white, it'll be a lot harder to shift. It's just normal two ball. Just too heavy. Great line, just too heavy. Yeah, you can see the power he's getting on those throws. Maybe red to go. That shadow is affecting that. It's up here. Referee Richard Evans just having another look. Red to go. Here's Sang Gampa. Taking his time in this one, it's a, a crucial throw for Sang Gampa. If I was in his position there, when the referee was doing the measuring, I would set up ready, prepared to uh, throw the ball, just to save my own time also. Oh, oh, brilliant. Yeah. No mercy from Sang Gampa. No, he's hitting them hard here. Worth another replay, this. Looks secure. Chance to push that jack back towards that back blue. Oh, no, it's gone now. Out. It's out, out. now. Out. Two balls out. A mistake from Xi Quan Yang, who just hasn't looked settled at all in this final no. as of yet. A few errors. 
How do you calm yourself down in a game like this, Peter, when you know you, a gold medal is up for grabs? Turn yourself around, face that wall, and give yourself a talking to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you've only four minutes. Sure. So that'll be quick. Every little trick in the book. Defend the nose. And like I said, it's yours this end. So let's just slow down. That's it. Just having another look. Here's Richard Evans. But you all right, Peter, this game is going at a rate of knots. We're already only twelve minutes in and halfway through the second end. Very rapid. Don't know if it's an adrenaline from both athletes. But Yang. He's a bit gun ho right now, I think. Really, really quick. Well, that's him played out. He can yank. And now a chance for Sang Gamper to potentially add some more points to the board, but he did try and protect himself a bit, did Yan. With four balls remaining, Sang Gamper, he'll be pretty confident. He'll be relaxed. Ah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nicely played. Just securing that ball. Same shot again. Just move to fill the back of the box. So you get a good angle. We, we look to try and nestle it in between the red and the blue. Or if uh, you can find the angle. Yeah. The overhead that we saw, it looks like there is area there to get another one. Point just sitting next to it. Just going for knock power again. Shift that red back. Oh, yeah. he's found it again. Absolutely superb from Great. Sian Gamper. Richard Evans just confirms that he will have another look. Yes, he watch doesn't push us blue now. If he wants to go on top, he has to hit the red first. Oh, he's hit the blue. That's not what he wanted. Oh, that's a measure now. A lot of shadows here for us to s actually see. Saying Gamper's last throw of the second end. Sir! Yeah, push that red there. I think secured the point. I think the ref wants a measure. Let's have a, another look at this one on the replay. Yeah, yeah. looks three. He'll be really happy with that, seeing Gamper. I'm sure that Richard Evans will explain and just maybe even double check. Has to be really careful in moving these balls. Some are propping others up. It can I really affect them? Just to move that one. Or did it pull out the red as well? And you can slightly pick up the voice of the referee, Richard Evans, and it's a really good insight to see how they actually deconstruct the scoring balls. Just want to be clear. Make sure that both athletes understand what he's doing. Close on that one.
Someone has to hold that blue. Well, that was that's very well done yeah. from Richard Evans. Most pressure I've seen a referee put under this championships. It's a bigger gap. Good start for Sian Gampa. Get the confirmation from the referee Richard Evans, and it is another three to Warwick Sian Gampa. 6 0 after two. What a start. Yeah, he's very strong. Sian Gampa there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. He's just really, he's gone too quick. He's not settling in this game. Yeah, he just doesn't seem focused. And we, we look ahead to the fourth and the last final of the afternoon. Griselles against Zhang, which should be another really intriguing affair. And Peter will be accompanying me to go through the game and dissect and analyse and see who will be crowned the BC4 world champion. Yeah, I'll call it the game of the Titans. <laughs> yeah, big, big strong name. That'll be good. That game will be coming up at 5 o'clock. This game is going at a red of knots. to go short again. Two metres for saying Gampa. Closer you can get is 1.5 metres. <laughs> really, really short. Really test out the skill of both players. You know, really test out Jan as he's as you've pointed out, Peter, been firing him at a rate of knots. So he's got to sort of compose himself and calm himself down. Ah. Great line. Some viewers might think, why is he not attacked the jack? But he's blocked off the angle. Yeah, the as long as you get that angle. And then with this power, again, it's an opportunity. Or, not really an opportunity. There's just a chance here that Jan can just push that ball right onto the jack again. He's back to square one. Yeah, he's shifted it. That's good. Yeah, right move for Jan. He hasn't been playing his best in this game so far, but that was better from Ji Kwan Yang. Take these opportunities as Jan. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Here, yeah. He's looked to the side. The crowd. Again, just seems to be lacking that calmness yeah. when he's got the chance. Whereas when you look at Sayan Gampo, he just you feel like he's got all the time in the world and the composure to pull anything off. Yeah. Jan's really frustrated here, he's turned away from the crowd. His countrymen looking on. Not happy with that one. Yeah, just he's pulled up a few times I've noticed throughout the game. Just not happy with something. Yeah, that's good. Totally don't away. go to your happy. Ah! Nice ah! again from saying Gampa, and you hear the defiant roar. Yeah, just turns away and wonders how he's going to get a point in this game. Yeah, he's really struggling here to get a good angle, protect this jack after opening the things up. Way things are going, so 
brought six rocks here. Really? <laughs> Every time he takes it apart. So <laughs> Gabby just puts it back on. Well, that was not what he was intending. No. At all. All those blues. So far away from Jack. And with the red of Sam Gampus protecting the Jack as well. Really He's done really well there yeah. to shift the jack all that way. Right for a rifle measure that way. Looks like red's closest from this angle. It'll be different down there. Red to go. He's red to go. So he's done well. There's Xi Quan Yang. Very organised is Sian Gamper, has his balls lined up in the box. Nicely ah. done as well from Sian Gamper again. See a sliver right here. No, he's really going for it again. Two balls remaining for Xi Kan Yang. He's under Yang's chair, he's got. Something heavy there to stop the chair from moving. You can see that ball whistle past the jack. He's done that twice now yeah. in the game. Just not finding his accuracy. Radar must be off. Produces a lot of power. He's just controlling that power. Hitting that target time time again. Good replay there to show the ferocity of how quickly he threw that. Mm. Yeah, it's still on here. Not too heavy. Could be one for Richard Evans to measure. It will be Sam Gamper to throw anyway. Can Sian Gamper win the World Championship with an end to spare? Oh. He yeah. certainly can. How many will he get out of this end? Two more balls left. Well, it's been uh, an exhibition from Warwick Sian Gamper. He can rest against that blue ball, push it away, and can set three. We can try and push up that red. See what the measurements of Richard Evans shows us. <laughs> Blue is closer. Red to go. I would have just left that to them after I used all my balls at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Just smashing the ball away. And now another three, maybe. Three in a row. Three threes. Hat trick or hat trick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's certainly done that. That is really lovely play from saying Gamper. Again. 
And it is now 9-0 to Sayan Gemper, and he just rocks back in his chair. Takes a puff of his cheeks as he knows he is now the world champion. But you feel that the mood saying Gamp is in that he'll be wanting more. He's a hungry man for points. He'll really want to show his dominance in the BC2 category. Fantastic performance so far and a fantastic day of action here at the Exhibition Centre in Liverpool. Two fantastic finals and a cracking semi-final between Sugimura and Saim Gampa this morning. And a third versus fourth playoff between Daniel Michel and Jun Yup Kim. Which was another really intriguing match that went all the way to the final end. One more final to go after this one and it is the BC4 final Zeng versus Griselas which should be another intriguing affair and this match length when you look at it 28 minutes it's short and sharp very quick BC2 definitely BC4 is usually quick but this is quick on BC4 again White ball's open here. Chance for Sain Gamper to take advantage of Jan's first throw. Yeah. Okay, Jan, let's get a point here. He's got a chance if he can break through that gap. Still early days in fourth end. Take your time. Well, that's the first time I've seen Jan just take a moment just to steady himself. Steady himself. Oh, yeah. And it, he's actually played a really nice composed shot and done really well yeah, again. Right you must be thinking, why didn't I do this earlier on? Yeah, 28 minutes ago. Just went to blue there. You can see these balls flying in a minute. <laughs> With the power of Sang Gampa, I went back against it. He has to be careful, he just doesn't knock the red out. And that blue falls and protects it. Ah! That's good. And then knock on that red. Couldn't ask for anything better. Done really well there, saying Gamba again, showing all his class and expertise. And the crowd here and taking notes, that's what they're doing. <laughs> they're taking notes and watching an exhibition of fantastic botch yeah. yeah! Well done again. And of course, your viewers at home have been able to watch a fantastic player at the peak of his powers in saying Gamba. Maybe it's a measure, it definitely is. It might just be two. Oh, great power! Well done from Jan, who's really come to the fore in his final end. A bit too late, though, yeah, to be challenging for the championship. If we had played eight ends, then things might be different, <laughs> but too late here. Shake of a head from Jan. Sang Gampa, can you see this weight here? It's a bit further back in his box. Maybe between the two blues. Yeah. Oh, superb again from Sang Gampa, but he still doesn't like it as much as he would have hoped. But it's, it's not still secure. Good. Yeah. Only a ball left for Jan. Mm 
Oh, he's done really well there, Jan. Just to nestle it in between the path he created. But now, saying Gampa has two balls remaining. Let's see what he can do. Can he keep a clean sheet? That would be very impressive in a double figure final as well. Yeah, that would be also incredibly impressive. Oh. Out. Out. Now we can roll up here, gently rest in there, or hit it back. Couple of options for Sangam, but I'd go for the blue. Knock that blue out, and you got three reds sitting there. Why not? It's all over. Nothing to lose. The last ball for Sayang Gampa of this World Championships. Oh. Yeah, he he hasn't been able to get into double figures. But he has secured the World Championships for the BC2 category. And what a player. He is and a true champion and he's added another trophy to his cabinet. Another medal around his neck. The gold medal in particular. And a really true fantastic player in Sang Gampa. Yeah. A bit too rapid as a point from the get-go. Maybe if you just calm down and relax in the game earlier. You know, push back a bit more. Too many loose balls I think. Jan never looked settled, did he? During the the game and saying Gamper took advantage of it and actually performed a, a truly professional and magnificent final performance and a result that means that he is the BC2 world champion and deservedly so Jan put in a great tournament but he's fallen short at the final hurdle we are now crowned another world champion in Warut Saint Gampa. We have one more final left for you this afternoon. Yaya 